Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 74 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about some of the things that are kind of hidden in Lightroom. Specifically, there's this thing in Lightroom called expose triangles, and I'm going to show you those. And also, if you hold the alter option key in on your keyboard, a lot of times words change into other words and you get different functionality if you hold that button in. and we're going to just look at a couple different things in the library and develop module that concern those two items now first of all we're in the library module and if you look over here at the left we have the import button and the export button so we get imports you know images or export images if i hold that alt or option key in again that's alt if you have a pc option if you have a mac you can see it turns into import catalog and export catalog so if you have multiple computers all running different catalogs and you want to combine the catalogs you could export let's say the catalog from one computer and then import it onto another computer and all you have to do is hold that alt or option key now if we jump over here to the right panel and we look at the quick develop tab now i don't do anything in the quick develop tab myself but maybe you do if you look down here the right on the right hand side you see these triangles those are called expose triangles and if you open those you could see we get more functionality so we we went the closed we just had a saved preset so we could add a preset to this image if we open it we also could do some crop cropping or some treatment color black and white uh, so just remember that there's expose triangles all over the place in Lightroom and some of them are default open but many of them are default closed and you won't know what's under there unless you click on them so be aware of that now in addition to those triangles if I hold that alter option key in, you could see that these two controls clarity and vibrance change to sharpening and saturation so remember that now we could open that expose triangle we have all different kinds of controls there in addition to those two that were there when that expose triangle was closed but sharpening and saturation aren't two you still have to hold that alter option key in to get at those two controls so remember that if you use anything in this quick develop tab now we're going to jump over the develop module and we're going to look at some of these things here now a lot of you probably know this if you're in the basic tab and and you just like got like sliders pushed around let's just do it real quick all right we have sliders pushed around and you want to reset one slider you could just double click on the name of the slider and it will reset that slider back to its default position Another thing you could do is if you hold that alter option key in, you could see that these turn into reset tone and reset presence. So what you could do is you could hold that alter option key in and single click on reset tone in this instance, and you'll reset all the sliders at once. Now a quicker way is whenever you find that, when you hold that alt or option key in and a, a word changed into another word, you could do it a lot quicker all you have to do is double click on tone and it will reset all those tone sliders all at once and similarly for presence you can see if i hold that alter option key and it turns into reset presence well i could single click right now and reset it but a faster way of course is to just double click on presence and it resets all those sliders so that's some quick stuff in the basic tab and it's the same thing in the black and white part of the basic tab if you hold that alter option key and you get those reset options so keep you know be aware of that we jump down to the tone curve in the region curve if you hold that alter option key and again you have reset so you could just do quick resets here by just double clicking on that word um, in the point curve there isn't anything there so nothing to be uh, concerned with there similarly in the HSL color and B&W tab you have the reset for in this case reset you you could reset saturation and reset luminance there and it's similarly for all the tabs color and B&W split toning we have some expose triangles I believe these are default open so you probably see all these sliders but if you don't that means they may be closed so you could open up those expose triangles and again you have the same reset options D 
detail, same reset options. We also have an expose triangle here. And what this does is gives us a one-to-one -one look at our image so we could better sharpen and uh, add noise reduction to it. And we could drag it around like here. Personally, I don't like this. This is too small for me. I prefer to just go one-to-one -one right on the main image itself, main you know, uh, side over here. So I keep that closed. And, and we have the same reset options when we hold that alter option key in. Lens corrections, we have, we could reset down here, reset the amount. Um, transform controls, again, resets when you hold that alter option key in and you guessed it. Same thing here, we could reset when you hold that in. And camera calibration, same thing. We could do resets when you hold that alter option key. Again, Wherever it changes when you hold that alter option key in, if you don't feel like holding the alter option key in, just double click on the word word and you will reset it. That's a lot faster that way. Now, as I was pushing in that alter option key, you might have noticed that this button where it says reset was changing to set default. This is an email I get all the time. Let's say that I just did some controls here. Now, obviously, I don't care what I'm doing, all right? So we're just moving all the sliders around. If by some chance you accidentally held that alter option key and clicked here where it says set default, these will be default settings. Any image you import into Lightroom will get these settings applied to it automatically. And that happens actually quite often, and I get, you know, people emailing me saying everything I you know I'm importing is getting highlights at 50 and shadows at 12 and they don't you know they're upset well that's probably what happened so what you need to do is you need to reset anything reset everything back to its default uh, position so you could double click in this case there double click there then hold you know go through all the tabs make sure everything's reset hold that alter option key in again and then set that as the default and you're all set okay that's the basic tab now let's take a look at a couple of the tools first of all on the brush you'll notice that there's a couple expose triangles here so if you don't have all the sliders that you see that I have or if you used to have them and they disappeared make sure that these expose triangles are open the other thing you could do let's say you did a brush stroke on your image if you hold the alter option key in, you'll go from a normal brush to the erase brush. So you could quickly and easily erase the thing you did over whatever part of the image you want it erased from. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's a quick way to jump from either the A brush to erase or the B brush to erase. Just remember that. So we'll get rid of that brush. We don't want that. So that's some things about the brush. And the same thing here, we have expose triangles on the radial filter. Uh, keep aware of that. There's nothing uh, except for right here where we could reset everything by just double clicking on effect. Also, that was on the brush too. If you hold that in, you could just click once and reset the brush, you know, the controls on the brush. Or if you prefer, just double click on the word effect and it resets all that. You guys should know this if you watch my Lightroom videos. I did cover those types of things. Similar here, you could just double click on the word effect. Again, remember these expose triangles. I don't think there's anything on uh, the, uh, the red eye and pet eye correction tool, uh, whether you hold Alt in or not. Um, here, there's nothing that I know of. And over here, there's nothing that I know of. So that's it. That's just some of the things that are hidden in Lightroom uh, behind expose triangles or how you get more functionality if you hold that alter option key in. That's it for this episode. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.